recognition is that this bill be now read a second time, and I call the member for Goldstein. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. And I've considered in, uh, this bill in quite a lot of detail in terms of my support for it, because of course it includes lots of different measures, but it also includes pathways that shut down the freedom of Australians to be able to engage in some gambling activities. And as somebody who takes freedom very seriously, and I do, and I always will. It's at the core of who, uh, who we are as a nation and the basis in which I sought election to parliament. But it's pretty hard to go past the reality of what happens in the practice of Lotto Land's activities uh, and whether it's proper within a, a well-regulated operation uh, around competition, particularly in the gambling sector. I do have challenges in part with this bill, and I'm not trying to pretend otherwise. But when it comes down to it, we have a situation where people are using the opportunities provided, of course, through technology and the internet to subvert uh, domestic competitive activity, um, which disruption by itself can be a very positive thing, Deputy Speaker, in fact, it can be an extremely positive thing, but it still has to operate within a system of laws, of taxes uh, and of regulations to make sure both consumers are not taken advantage of, but people are also meeting their uh, responsibilities within a free society. And that's the basis in which I support this legislation. Because when you have uh, a company operating, as a lot of land does in Australia, against uh, uh, existing operating providers who carry the burden and cost of uh, regulation, uh, and of making a contribution to our tax system and is obviously integral in terms of the business operations of many Australian bu small businesses, particularly news agents, of course, uh, many of which I have uh, in my own electorate, as many others do, although not as many as I imagine some have had in the past. We have to take appropriate measures to either provide pathways for those who want to compete in that space to do so in a legal way, but to match those responsibilities and the burdens that other people carry. And so this bill seeks to do that. It seeks to provide not uh, a, essentially, and I'm very wary of using these phrases ordinarily, but a level playing field for those who seek to run lottery activities and gambling activities within Australia to make sure they match their res responsibilities by paying taxation and being well regulated, and also making sure uh, that we have a proper competition within the marketplace that enables consumers to choose, but not to be taken advantage of uh, simply through the use of technology. Uh, and of course, it's very important because sitting behind a lot of discussions around gambling is, of course, discussions around making sure we have uh, ad address and tackle part of the challenges of gambling addiction. And one of the reasons why we do have tax obligations directly associated with uh, different forms of lotteries is to make sure there's a surplus benefit out of that type of activity to support those who are most in need. And to make sure that people can't be taken advantage of where there isn't support services for people who feel they have a problem to get proper redress. This bill uh, acknowledges that practical reality of the addiction that can occur with gambling and takes appropriate steps and pathways to make sure that we continue to provide the services for those people who are in need and need assistance, particularly when it can have such a negative down-spiralling effect on people's lives. By taking such sensible measures in this piece of legislation, we're enabling a proper and well-regulated environment for gambling for Australian consumers to choose, something I believe very strongly in but making sure that we have one in which people can get the support and assistance they need to make sure that there is no chance of problem gambling turning into the consequences of a down-spiralling of people's lives. Now, nobody's going to try and pretend that there's not an interest from government in this. There is. Uh, of course, gambling revenue for state, uh, for state governments in particular is very important in terms of budget balance sheets. But in truth, it's largely got nothing to do with the justification for why this bill should be addressed and should be introduced. It's not to stop the realities of gambling or competition or disruption uh, where it's uh, appropriate and necessary. But it is appropriate to make sure that we take the legislative measures, particularly because of the challenges that technology presents us, to uh, make sure that consumers are not taken advantage of and to make sure that we have uh, a proper and well-regulated system. Thank you, Deputy Speaker.